Dear viewers, Salaamu Alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Welcome to the Gems from the Quran. And Alhamdulillah, we are still going with the wonderful gem from the Quran, that is Surat Al Ma'arij. And we stopped in the previous episode at the ayah number 24. Allah Almighty talking about in the previous verses about illa al musalleen except those who observe the prayers except those who are praying and then allah almighty start telling the qualities of these people those who are you know continuing prayer uh, praying those who are constant in their prayers and allah almighty said after that in ayah number 24 which means and those within whose wealth is a known right. In other meaning, وَالَّذِينَ فِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ And those they know in their wealth the right of the known people. Yes, there are some specific people. They know that this is the right of these people. Who these people are? Allah Almighty says in ayah number 25, لِلسَّائِلِ وَالْمَحْرُومِ And for the petitioner, and deprived those who are asking those who ask those who ask so imagine these those people those kind of people who are asking and well mahroom and the deprived one yes they know that this person he always asks for help and assistance and some financial aid i'll go and give him the wealth that i have it's not only mine i i was blessed or I've been blessed with this money, with this wealth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the one that I have, this wealth that I have, whatsoever this wealth is, it could be your good salary, it could be your savings, it could be whatsoever that you have, the income that is coming from your real estate or from your business or from whatsoever, this wealth is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you this wealth, then you have to give to the needy, to the poor, to the people who are asking, to those who are deprived, they have nothing. Allah Almighty gave you all this wealth. So you should use it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what Allah Almighty giving this qualities of those who are praying. So Alhamdulillah, you are among those who are praying. You are among those who are constant in their prayer. You are among those who are praying in the masjid. You are among those few who are praying Fajr on time in the masjid. So you have to also take a step forward and be among those who, who knows the right, who is giving from their wealth to the needy and poor and those who ask and the deprived one. And then Allah Almighty telling about their belief system. What is their belief system? وَالَّذِينَ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينِ Allah Almighty is telling about these people and those who believe in the day of resurrection. The day of resurrection or the day of judgment. So Allah Almighty telling us that they believe in the hereafter. They believe that there is an accountability. They believe that once they will die, they will be resurrected and Allah Almighty will ask them from, of their wealth, about their wealth, about their everything that Allah Almighty gave them and bless them with. So this is what Allah Almighty says. وَالَّذِينَ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينِ They believe they confirm yusaddiquna they confirm and they believe biyawmiddin on the day of judgment so if you really believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the day of judgment and the prophet and the angels and the heaven and the hell and all the articles of faith then you have to be among those who are giving the needy helping the poor helping the Supporting the deprived ones. By that, 
you are fulfilling the commandment of Allah Almighty and also the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And by that, alhamdulillah, you are successful. So the time of a break just came. We have to take a short break and then start and continue after that, inshallah. Welcome back, dear viewers. So alhamdulillah, we stopped at the ayah where Allah Almighty said in Surah Al-Ma'arij, ayah number 26, وَالَّذِينَ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينِ And those who believe and confirm the Day of Judgment. And these people are the believers. Not only that, Allah Almighty keep praising and telling the quality of these people. So Allah continued and He said, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ Which means, and those who are fearful of the punishment of their Lord. So these people, having Iman, believing in Allah Almighty, having Taqwa, having piety in their heart, and praying on time, constant in their prayer, giving and having, knowing the right from their wealth to give to the needy, to the deprived one, to the people are asking for financial aid, they are aid, they are giving all these people. And then Allah Almighty said, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ And those who are fearful of the punishment of their Lord. And they are always, always having this kind of fear. They are always fearful. I don't want to do anything bad because Allah Almighty will punish those who are the wrongdoers. I don't want to get into this sin because Allah Almighty will punish every single person who is doing a sin. And they are always fearful from the punishment of their Lord. Even though our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. Even though our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-ghafoor, al-ghaffar. He is the most forgiving. He is the most kind. He is al-wadud. Allah Almighty, He is Ar-Rahim, Allah Almighty, He is Al-Halim. All these names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows the mercy, the amount of mercy of Allah Almighty. But yet, He have to and He will punish those who went out of the way. Those who are involved in the sin. Those who are involved into the bad things. So, this is the punishment of Allah Almighty for those who are going out of the way. And the believers, as the believers, and as the belief system of a believer, that he have to be fearful from the punishment of their Lord. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. One of the quality of a believer is what? وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ And those who are fearful of the punishment of their Lord. Because the punishment is certain for sure. As I told you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you count the places in the Quran that he mentioned about himself, that he is Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Ghafoor, Al-Wadud, Al-Kareem, Al-Halim, all these names and attributes that he is the most kind, he is the most merciful, he is the compassion, and he is the, uh, the most generous, he is the most wise, and he is the most kind. All these names and attributes, put it in one place and go through the ayat where Allah Almighty talks about the punishment, where Allah Almighty says that he is shadidul iqab, he is the, uh, he punish those who are doing the wrong things, etc, etc. You will find the names of the mercy of Allah Almighty is a big list that he talks about the Jannah, he talks about the uh, heaven, he talks about the blessings of the, uh, of the heaven, he talks about the mercy of Allah Almighty. It is massive in compared to only few things that he mentioned about the hellfire and the punishment. And he is punishing who? The disbelievers. He is punishing who? The one who went out of the way. But yet, if you ask repentance from Allah Almighty, he will repent you. Yet, if you ask Allah Almighty to forgive you, He will forgive you. Yet, if you ask Allah Almighty and admit about your sin, He will, He will forgive you. So, Alhamdulillah, by that you will understand 
the majesty of our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator. And by that, you know that there is a Rabb, our Rabb, our Lord. He is the one who forgive and forgets, forgive and pardon. By that, alhamdulillah, we came to the end of this episode. But inshallah ta'ala, we will continue with the same wonderful chapter, Surah Al-Ma'arij, in the upcoming episode. Until then, take care of yourself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.